Ten years ago, there was a GPU that was four thousand dollars, the most powerful GPU in the world, and now it's only twenty dollars. Let's take a look at it. Hello everyone, we are back, and yes, this is another super, super exciting video. I know you've been waiting all day for this. No, maybe not. Okay. Anyway, I wanted to update you on the Tesla GPU. I never finished that project. That video was months ago. This is as far as I got on it. I was able to remove the original heatsink here. And I put a heatsink from a 980 Ti with a fan that I glued here. So it's kind of stuck now. There's one screw and then it's just permanently there. It's weird how exactly this fit on this. So this is a Tesla K40, which is a compute GPU. We still don't know what that means for servers or something, I don't know. I just wanted to make one work. So this I bought on eBay. It's now been more than a year for $38 shipped, I believe. And as you have seen in the previous video, there is no display out. It's very difficult to make these work properly. I got the idea from Craft Computing, which you've probably heard of. And for some reason, I just, I can't make it work. So originally they come with no fan. This is the original heatsink. And the air would go through here because it would be in a server of some sort. So I put this in with this fan and then this would connect to the motherboard. So it was decently cool, but the thing is it just wouldn't work. And I think the reason why is because I don't have an integrated uh, graphics. So in order to make this work, you have to do an you have to have integrated graphics and then you tell Windows to use this as the accelerator. But I was never able to make it work. Um, and then I just quit after that. But we're gonna try again. So um, this one, K40, it's Kepler. It's kind of equivalent to a, a GTX 7 series, 780, something like that. And it, it's not fast, but I just wanted to make it work. So that's that project. This has, I forgot what was the memory on this. It's, it's a lot. There's just, there's some weird things about these. Like here, what is that for? See the two pin? not sure what that's for it's just kind of there it's a 200 watt card it it did work it just I couldn't get the drivers to install and I just kind of gave up on that so here is the new project so this is a k40 and I was able to pick up this so this is a K80. What's the difference? I am not sure, but I thought K80 sounded better than K40. So I, just, I actually messaged this guy months ago. I think it was October. He was asking $50 for this. And I, I don't know what a K80 is actually. It turns out that in the craft computing video he was doing a k80 not a k40 so a k80 is two gpus one here one here so this is a gk180 gpu which is a spin-off of the gk110 which is gtx 700 series i believe is the specs are all you know it's this they're all over the place Anyway, the K80 
has two GPUs, 24 gigabytes of memory, and again, no display out. So he messaged me from my old message and said, hey, do you still want this? I'll give it to you for 20 bucks. And I don't really want it, but I mean, for $20, this was like $4,000 back in the day. It's still on Amazon for 100 plus. I don't know what people use these for, but I'm gonna try again and see if I can make it work. I just have to find a CPU that has an integrated graphics so I can make it work. So it's not, um, <clears throat> there's two GPUs, right? But it's not SLI. They're two independent GPUs. Oh, did it just break? Okay. There's two independent GPUs. GK210, GK210, 12 gigs here, 12 gigs here, but they do not cooperate. There's no SLI or anything. It's just this one and that one. So I've seen people make them work for mining. I've seen uh, one guy actually made it work for DaVinci Resolve, but he had to do a whole bunch of stuff. I don't need to do all that. I just want it to work. So, but check out this. There's some weird stuff on here. Okay, look. That's where your normal power would be, right? For the PCI connections. And then I've seen on NVIDIA GPUs where they had this blank spot right here. And I always thought, what's that for? That's for the power connection here. It's on the side. What's the difference? Well, this is PCIe power, that's CPU power. So it's actually 12 volts times four. This GPU takes 300 watts at maximum, which is insane. And it's not even that fast. Actually, the, the clock speed on this is slower than this. This is 700 something megahertz. These are 500 each. Um, someone said, I did not fact check this, but someone said that this, if you were to just do it like spec wise on paper, this would be more powerful than a 1080 Ti. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I mean, it sounds like a lot like that's crazy. You can actually overclock this. But again, we have no cooling solution here. I just like looking at the card. It's Even if this didn't work at all, it's just nice. Look at the NVIDIA thing there. Cool. So, um, so here's what we're going to do with this. So this is, let me show you. You cannot use a standard PCI GPU connection. It doesn't fit. What you need is a CPU connection, which is like this. I don't know if this is gonna work. I might have to buy the actual adapter, but see, this is a GPU or a CPU like the motherboard to power this. There's four 12 volt power pins here to power this. And then as far as cooling, um, I think what we're gonna do is, so I've seen someone take this apart. So there's one heat sink here for the secondary GPU. There's one heat sink here for the primary. There's another heat sink here for the, the I assume there's a memory plate there underneath. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. I might do the same thing like this. So what most people do is they will just blow air in here via an adapter and then it comes out of the backside. I saw one guy actually put an adapter here where it just would suck air out the back. But I'm thinking maybe what if we remove the the plastic here and just put two fans, like one here, like two 80 millimeter fans just blowing down, which means the air in the middle would come up and then the air would go that way and then the air would go that way. 
I think that should work. And then we just power the fans from a standard motherboard connection because there's no fan header on this. But check this out too, look. That's cool. There's just more weird connections on here. Look at this, where is it? Um, so look, that's where the video display out would be, I believe. But it's not utilized here. Is this SLI? I've seen systems that have four of these in one server. So I'm not sure what, if you can connect them or something. Could you imagine having four of these? And what else? There was something else different on this. Um, oh, I think it's back here. So there's the power connection. Now, where was the other thing? Now I can't find it. There was something else weird. Anyway, um, oh, by the way, this GPU is equivalent or better to than the Titan. The original Titan would have been one of these, but this is a 210, not a 110. So this is like having two Titans. But I don't know what we can do with this. This this has no, you can't really use it for gaming. Even if you did, it would be only as fast as like a 780 Ti and it's only running 500 megahertz. So I'm gonna find a use for it at some point. I just wanted to show you the update. Um, I know nobody likes these videos about the Teslas, but I think it's really interesting to display with old hardware that used to be super expensive. So this is part one. Part two is gonna be me again trying to test it. I think I just can't use my personal computer. I'm gonna have to make some sort of test bench or something. And then I wanna take off this, take the glass out and see if we can just blow air through here like that. So stay tuned to part two. Actually it would be part three because that was part one, which was a fail. Part two is here. Part three, hopefully we make it work. If not, we'll just sell it. I mean, they still go for a hundred bucks anyway. And uh, yeah, if you've ever messed with the Tesla NVIDIA GPU, let me know how you made it work. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.